No one wants to hear lines like, ever since I was born, I've always wanted to be a dentist. Really? <laughs> Trust me, no one was born out of the womb, holding a drill in their hand, ready, ready to go drill out some decay. No, I'm sure that wasn't the case. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I want to give you a warm welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Chances are that you've clicked on this video because you need help <laughs> with your personal statement. And as somebody that has written two personal statements, I know exactly how you feel. Um, you don't know where to start, you don't know what to include, you don't know what the structure is and what are the right things to include, what are the wrong things to include, and you're just a bit confused right now. And if that is you, you definitely come to the right video because I will be discussing all of that. And I'll also be reading some parts of my personal statement as well. So so stay tuned to the end if you want to find out what I wrote. Um, if you do like the video, please do click the like button and also subscribe to join the family. Right, let's get into the video. So first things first, what does this personal statement consist of? So essentially you have 4,000 characters, which is roughly around 500 words and 47 lines to sell yourself. Yeah, you need to sell yourself to university. This is what they read and it just is basically 500 words to tell them about you and why they should let you on to this degree. Um, so it is pretty important. It's like, it's like a CV, but on a larger scale, you are essentially telling them your life story and showing them your passion and why they should take you on. The deadline is usually in October for people who study medicine and dentistry. But if you study something else, then your deadline will probably be a bit later around um, December, January. Even though the deadline is in October, I'd say start now. Yep, now. <laughs> I think the earlier you start, the better, because it really just puts you ahead and you have a lot more time over the summer to revise it and make multiple drafts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys a task, okay? By the end of the day, try and write two lines of your personal statement, okay? Um, if you haven't started already, then that's just two sentences. Um, if you've already started, then just add on two more sentences because that will really just help you get the ball rolling because trust me, the longer you wait, the more you're gonna regret it. So just start now, start today, and you will thank yourself in the future. Trust me, okay? Let me let me know how you guys get on in the comments below. Before you start writing just yet, number one, the first thing you need to do is to make a mind map and some bullet points about what you want to actually include in your personal statement. To so try and jot down some of the reasons why you want to study dentistry, any work experience you've had, um, any extra reading you've done around the subject, any projects that you've done. So for example, um, in sixth form, I wrote an essay on dental phobia and I actually included this in my personal statement. So that just shows that you, you do other things as well, um, which could really impress them. Also think about five achievements that you're really proud about. Now's the time to really brag. Um, there's no time to be humble in your personal statement. You need to really show off because they wanna see what you've been up to in your 18, 20 years of life. So just think back and reflect and think about all those things that you're proud about um, and your achievements and try and include them. Not only should you include them, I'm not saying include all five by the way, I think jot down around five and pick the ones that you're most proud about but most importantly, it's what you've learned from it. Um, so even though you might have volunteered somewhere or um, taken part in something, you need to think about what you've learned from it. So for example, I took part in the National Citizen Service, um, NCS, which is like a sort of summer camp thing. And I just talked about how it helped me with like, my teamwork, motivating people. Also like the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which I'm sure most people have done. The bronze one I done, I didn't, I didn't go all the way to gold. Um, but yeah, anything that you've done that you feel can make you stand out. Also with work experience, it's not about the number of weeks you've had um, or months in fact, it's about what you've learned as well. I'm sure you've probably heard this before um, because really and truly, let me be honest with you, they're not gonna go back and call the dental practice and be like, 
Hello, how many weeks of work experience has this person had? No, no one's gonna do that. So <laughs> I'm telling you now, it doesn't matter if you have one day or two days. I know they say two weeks, but the main thing is what you took from it, okay? So whether it's a procedure you witnessed or something from the dentist that the dentist done to make you realize something, just really think about the work experience as a whole and what you took from it, because that is what they will be interested in, okay? So tip number two, once you're able to just make a mind map of bullet points, all the things that you want to put in, then you're able to go on to making a structure, okay? So the way that people usually structure theirs is to start off with why they want to study dentistry, then move on to talk about um, any work experience you've done or any other projects that you've learned from, and then a bit about like extracurricular activities, okay? Um, also some key words that you might want to include are things about communication skills because this is really really important with dentistry so you might want to think about things that you've, you've done that has enhanced your communication skills and um, leadership as well empathy coping with stress decision making and manual dexterity okay so these are a couple of key buzzwords that um, dentistry personal statements should have in them but obviously if you have these words in them as I said all the time, related back to your experiences, okay? Because this is why it's a personal statement, because it's about you, okay? So think about your experiences and how you're gonna relate it back. Um, and another thing about structure is to do your introduction last. Yep, don't spend hours writing your introduction because honestly, it can be really hard to think of like a killer opening line because it, you, you don't know at that point what you wanna write, so I could say, Write the full body of your personal statement, then go back at the end to do your introduction. Because by then you've already got the main body of it. So then it might be easier for you to go back and write your introduction. So leave your introduction till last. Number three, please don't be cliche, okay? No one wants to hear lines like, ever since I was born, I've always wanted to be a dentist. Really? <laughs> Trust me, no one was born out of the womb holding a drill in their hand, ready, ready to go drill out some decay. No, I'm sure that wasn't the case. So please steer away from phrases like that. Or, um, oh, I just want to help people. I mean, as lovely as that is, and I'm sure as dentists, we all want to help people. That's, if you, if you didn't want to help people, you wouldn't be in this profession. Um, but it is very generic and very cliche. So I would steer away from that, okay? Don't write phrases like that. Think about things that are more unique to you. Like, even if you did want to be a dentist since the day you were born, <laughs> I mean, just think about an experience you've had rather than just phrasing it like that. Or even if you do want to help people, think about why. Always think about your why. Tip number four. Get your personal statement checked, okay? I mean, the first people we'd usually go to are our parents, but let's be honest, when last did our parents write essays um, and they're probably gonna be very biased and love anything that you give to them. So I think I'd take what your parents say with a pinch of salt um, and try and get other people to check it, such as your teachers, or if you know any dentists or anyone in the field or any other academics, generally someone that you can trust, okay? Um, I remember when I was applying, I just got I got anyone that was that was willing <laughs> to read my personal statement and help me to have a read. But you have to be careful with that because not everyone's going to agree. So if you send it to ten different people, you probably get ten different responses. And by that point, it's not your personal statement anymore because you've molded it to what all these people have been saying and your voice has been drowned out. So be careful not to make that the case. Okay, don't overly send it to too many people and when people do make changes to your personal statement don't always take it on board uh, i know it sounds really bad but some people might put like big fancy words in there and although it might be good it's not you okay and the universities will be able to tell if it's a 50 year old writing the personal statement or an 18 20 year old okay so don't 
try and be all fancy and use words that you don't even know because you will get found out and it's not going to sound um, authentic okay so um, as much as I would say get people to check it you still want it to be authentic to you number five get your passion across okay this is your time to shine <laughs> Show them why you deserve a place at their university. This is particularly true for someone that has taken a gap year or you're reapplying because they really want to see your determination. Obviously, you're very determined anyway to try again for the second time. Um, so yeah, really, really just show them your passion and the reason why you want to study dentistry. Um, so as promised, I'll read you guys a bit from my personal statement. Um, I'll read you the last paragraph so you can see what I mean. So I said, currently I am taking a gap year, which due to personal reasons caused me to narrowly miss my offer. However, I am still extremely motivated to persevere and not give up, as I am confident that my goal of studying dentistry is achievable. During this gap year, I plan to continue with my work experience as volunteering as a Beanstalk reading helper to give children a chance to develop their reading skills alongside working part-time at the retailer All Saints. I am a self-motivated individual with a positive attitude. The work experience and skills gained throughout my life have been a great influence in confirming my commitment to pursue a career in dentistry. Okay, mic drop. <laughs> so I think it's really important to end your personal statement on a positive note. You want them to just think, oh wow, like this person, they, they really want to study dentistry, don't they? So really leave them feeling um, inspired and just, I guess, happy, you know? Um, but yeah, those are my top tips, guys. I really hope it helped you. Um, if it helped you, please do press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you need help with your personal statement and you're really struggling, um, I'm running a little one-to-one -one personal statement help. Um, so it is a small fee required, but don't worry, it's nothing too too expensive, I know the struggle, but this is something that I've done in the past and it has worked well for people. So just let me know if that's something you're interested in. If not, that's completely fine. Honestly, there's so many people that have gotten to dental school without getting help with their personal statement. So yeah, it's just the offers there for anyone that wants it. But yeah, I wish you guys all the best. Hope it all goes well. Let me know how it goes. Remember the challenge. By the end of the day, you need to write two sentences of your personal statement, okay? And if you haven't started, start now, okay? Right. Right guys, hope to see you on the next video. Um, all the best. Bye.